everybody, you may know my next guest from the films Don't Say a Word and Summer of Sam. Her latest project is the new movie, Welcome to Collinwood. Please welcome Jennifer Esposito. They made you... me practice doing that backstage. Made you practice doing what? I did it. This, putting this on. Oh, putting that on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very, very nice. Difficult. Well, you did it well. Thank you. And you know what? The, I gotta say, you've got the John Bon Jovi I hair, do. too. <laughs> and it looks, it looks very nice on you. I it's do. very sexy. I tell you, when I was growing up, he was, you know, I, I was in Staten Island, and he was like it, and, and all the girls had big hair where I was, and I used to go and say, I want John Bon Jovi's hair. Do it like that, so I guess... And you said it in a creepy... <laughs> you said it in a creepy way, like, I will have his I hair. Have and so uh, to uh, an homage, I did it again. You got, you got to work with him, is I that did, right? I did. Early on in, in both of our careers, we did um, a movie called uh, No Looking Back that Eddie Burns um, directed. Right, right. And um, I was, thought I was really okay with everything until I walked in and met him. I was like, that's him, you know, I was so excited. But we had a scene that was pretty intimate, but nothing was going on. It was just we were very close, and the director came up to me once one time and said, you know, Throw something at him. Improvise. So I kissed him. Just out of the blue? Yeah. Was he cool with that? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly no. security ran no, in and I was like, Oh my God, yeah. that's not in the scene. No, no, he wanted me to seduce him in a way. So I did that, but, you know, it was more about me. Right. Really. <laughs> right. You're <laughs> just looking after yourself story there. Story for my friends. Like, I kissed my Shelby. <laughs> and he's like, cut, cut, cut. So, yeah, it was fun, though. Now, I would think it's really hard. I, I, I'm not an actor, and I've failed as an actress. Uh, it just didn't work. Uh, when you have to kiss somebody on film, I always think, I don't know how people have intimate scenes in front of a lot of people. It's, it's got to be... Yeah. Did you have to do that? Like, uh, how, do, you have to, do you at least get to do a few movies before you had to do something that no, tough? No, it's funny. Now that, you know... I haven't been dating, so I'm like, yeah, I'll kiss someone on screen. It'd be great. It'd be fantastic. Like, you're using it as, like, a date <laughs> Yeah, situation? absolutely. 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 No, the people that say, <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous, if there's a handsome person and you're involved in the character, fine. But in the beginning, my very first job, first day on a movie set ever, I had this scene where I had to be in my underwear. It was 110 degrees. We were up in this like tenement apartment, no air condition, mm -hmm. and I had a six foot five hairy man lying on top of me, and I was just, I was so frantic. It was, it was the most awkward situation in the world. What do they do to sort of make that situation less freaky? Is there anything you can? Well, this director was so nice that he closed the set, and him and the cameraman took their pants off. So we were all naked. <laughs> How does that make you more comfortable? Well, because everybody was in shame. So, I wish I had know. been there when he had thought of that idea. Yeah, wasn't that nice? There's one way to make you more comfortable. My pants are coming off. <laughs> now do you feel now? How do you feel now? Yeah. Like, this is better. It's a party. I've never. Now this that you're alone with three naked men. Three naked men in the room. Better Perfect. than one hairy man sitting on. Oh my God, it was awful. Okay, we so. don't need to know about that. <laughs> Now, this, let's talk about this movie now. Welcome to Collinwood. Yeah. For this film, I'm told that you had to learn the polka. The polka. I would rather have a hairy man lying me on too. me. Me too. Me too. Than have to learn the polka. Me too. I don't even know. I have to be honest with you. I've never, I don't even know what a polka is, but sometimes I've seen it, yeah. and it looks like it's people just randomly that's exactly, jumping around. You did it. You just did the that's, polka. What, that's a like polka? This. You just bop. I you just bop around like, like that. that? We're doing the polka right now. Right. Seriously. That's I, it? No, it's I, not. Honestly, we... I, Sammy Rockwell and I both love to dance. and we, He's we, your co-star? Co-star in this. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we were so excited we were going to get to dance. And it was the polka. And I'm sorry for people who love the polka, but if you have rhythm, you can't do it. Because it's really, you're really like completely off the beat and you're just bump okay, a bump bump four minutes later, bum. Hosen just stormed they're, out. They're very angry. They're not sitting for this? Yeah, me neither. And they walked yeah, out. Uh, uh, I don't know what it is, really. But it always looks like, but you had to have lessons or we something. We did. We well, got polka lessons. And what are the person you finally meet the polka master and he says, Yeah, just jump around. He, it's honestly a hop. It's like but a bump, but a bump, 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 and then you're this way, and it's it's not very attractive. Right. And it's also sounds, it's got that weird like yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it. 
Okay, I we've both angered of us. a whole section of I the know, country I'm right sorry. now. It's I don't know what section that is. It's very big in Cleveland. Uh, in Cleveland? Yes, that's where we shot. That's what Collinwood is. It's a place in Cleveland, and it's the extras all new. So they're like they polka gangs polka. roaming the streets yes. in Cleveland, <laughs> just hopping around in lederhosen, and they have feathers in their hats. And look out! Here comes that dreaded polka gang. I'm not joking. Their diet is high in cheese. Look out! Um, I was told. I don't know. Again, I'm just asking, but that, I'm, cause I'm, I'm bringing this up because I'm curious about it. That. Uh, after your appearance here tonight, you're taking a little time off. You want to pamper yourself, so you're going to a spa. Yes. Okay, I want to ask you about spas yes. because I don't know if, I, if I'm speaking for all men, but I tried to go to a spa once, and I left after like a day. I couldn't take it. Really? It was so, but I know that women go crazy for spas. They I love like a spa. It. I like it. What I do you do at a spa? I just thought... I call it my hospital, seriously. When I get too, too much has been going on, I go up there, and they give you a robe, and they, like, feed you. You sit there. They rub you. It's That is nice. a hospital. You it just is. described Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you're just going to, like, a nursing home, Maybe and you don't know you it. Maybe don't know. And they push you in a wheelchair, and, it's and fabulous. They give you some people IV. ignore you, and wow, <laughs> you drool. Um, no, I, I like it. It's nice. The rubbing thing is. You like great. the rubbing? Yeah. Don't you? Yes. <laughs> Where is this going? How can I make you feel more comfortable? I know. Let's clean this show up. I'm sorry. I'm trying to have a professional show here, and you come along and, and look, ruin it. Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, Welcome to Collinwood is uh, playing in select cities yeah. right now. Yes. You know what? It's every time you come on the show, we have a good time. Uh, always. So please come back soon. Uh, always. I All love right. It here. Jennifer Esposito. We'll take a break. When we come back, Trust Company. Stick around. That was great. Everybody, that is our show. I do want to thank my guest. Big, big thanks to Jennifer Esposito. You're always great. Thank, thank you for being here. Uh, thanks to John Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora for stopping by. Big thanks to Trust Company for being here and playing. Jimmy Vivino, the Max Weinberg Seven. Stay tuned for a last call with Carson Daly, and we'll uh, see you on the Monday. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Mr. Choo Choo, I'm ready for my audition. I really appreciate this opportunity being new in town and all, Mr. Choo Choo. I'm sorry, you want me to take my clothes off? I know it's a hard business, but that's how all big actresses start. Okay, Choo, I guess you know best. Okay, I'll get more comfortable. <laughs>